Ladies and gentlemen, if you're isekai enjoyers, you should be checking out villainous animes. Because these villainous animes are basically someone dying and being reincarnated into an otome game. Which is pretty much like, it's a female character lead and then there's a bunch of like princes. It's kind of like a reverse harem. But the funniest thing about this one is, and I've been waiting for this. The villainous, right? The one that opposes the main character in this otome games is a salary man. A middle-aged balding salary man. And the trailer's been out for a while. I want to check it out. Let's check out the trailer. <laughs> the auto translate's kind of dookie, so like the English shows are probably bad. But basically, like this is the dude. He is in the blonde girl with the drills. Just like, oh, hello, principal. Yo, bro, it's playing the fucking corporate ladder so hard right now. The Japanese word culture. <laughs> Yo, why do the villainous always have these fans? Like, that's such an extra thing. Even Priscilla and ReZero does it too, right? You always have the fan to, like, hide your face because the peasants are not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate game. So like this pink girl is like the main character of the Ultimate game. It's like the good girl, the saint, the one that, you know, conquers all these fucking NPC princes. But there's always the villainous character too, who opposes the heroine. Exactly. And it's so fun when the main character is a villainous because they're so sassy. And think about it. You have a fucking like mid 50 year olds, like Japanese salary man who probably knows about corporate structure, right? Probably like managed a bunch of people before. It's so sassy being the villainous. It's, it's an insane concept. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Ikemen, bro. It's always like main guy, Denka, right? The crown prince. And then the red hair guy, usually the fucking hot headed brute, right? You have the blue hair cool husband, though. You have the Megane, you have the dark hair guy, you have the, you know, femboy, you know, kind of type too. It's, it's such a trope, bro. Every one of these characters is just a template in every one of these villainous shows. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking corny, the hair flip. Virgil Bierba. Virgil Bierba. <laughs> Namai, what, ma, what is their names? I don't know what they actually said here. Something about like that. But like, imagine, like, this dude. What's he, what's he got in common with these fucking Ikim and Husbandos? <laughs> yeah, what's our name? Bro, you doesn't know? Bro forgot the name there? <laughs> when doing the introductions? Grace. Grace. Grace.主人公である Let's go, Oji-san. Seems like she hasn't given any around her the strange feeling that this Duke's daughter is actually an old man. They're all getting catfished by this fucking salary man who got isekai'd. It's coming soon, bro. January 2025. It's upon us in like a month and a bit, bro. I really hope that people will check this out. Villainous Shows has actually performed pretty well in my channel because it's 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 just like this 
peak pettiness and sassiness and drama, right? Villainous level 99 was very fun of like a power fantasy. Right now we're watching I'll Become a Villainous that goes down in history, which is also just so petty and sassy and I love it. The heated drama that happens and for the first time, right? The villainous is a fucking OG son. Think about that. That concept, when I saw the cover picture, I knew this is going to be gold. Hopefully, it's actually good. The trailer art animation, like, the animation quality doesn't need to be good for villainous shows, right? But, of course, it's looking pretty good. My fingers are crossed. See you next time.